The Kia Sorento is one of the heavyweights of the towing world, both literally and figuratively. This is the latest generation of Kia's iconic tow car. It's more economical, it's better equipped, and it's roomier than before. But is that enough to justify the price hike? The Sorento now starts from £28,795, rising to over £40,000 for the top spec KX4. That pushes the car close to prestige badged rivals. Our KX3 manual test car costs just under £36,000, but you do get a lot for your money. There's this 8 inch colour touchscreen with satellite navigation. 8-way power adjustment for the driver's seat, xenon headlights, uh, panoramic sunroof, leather upholstery and heated front seats and heated seats in the middle row. In fact the list of standard kit just goes on and on. You get a lot of metal as well as plenty of toys. The Sorento has a curb weight of 1,932 kilograms which gives a healthy 85% match figure of 1,642 kilos. The legal towing limit is two and a half tonnes and the maximum download on the tow ball is 100 kilos. The 2.2 litre diesel also puts out some impressive numbers. There's 197 bhp, three brake horsepower more than before, and 325 pounds-feet of torque, a 14 pounds-feet increase. It's the flexibility of the engine that really impresses. There's so much pulling power, even from low revs, that you can afford to be lazy about changing gear, even when you're towing a big twin-axle caravan uphill. The strength of the Sorento's engine was underlined at the test track, where it pulled a Bailey Unicorn Cordoba, weighing 1,590 kilos, from 30 to 60 miles per hour in 10.9 seconds. We'd take stability over performance any day, but the Sorento feels stable and secure at the legal limit. There's little work for the driver to do unless the wind picks up, in which case some small movements of the steering wheel may be needed. The more extreme test of our lane change manoeuvre doesn't always suit 4x4s with their long travel suspension and high centre of gravity, but the Sorento made a decent fist of swerving between the cones. There was a little pushing from the caravan on the fastest runs, but we never felt the Sorento was about to lose control. Inside, today's Sorento is better finished than the previous generation. It may not match the showroom appeal of the best prestige 4x4s, but the gap is not as wide as it used to be. There's enough room for adults to travel comfortably in the middle row, and the central seats slide forward on runners to give more space to anyone travelling in seats 6 and 7. Grown-ups will be happy enough for short trips, but you wouldn't want to stay back there on a long journey. Boot space is tight with all seven seats upright, but as a five-seater, there's plenty of space for holiday bags. The original Sorento was much loved by caravanners and offered a lot of car for not much cash. Today's car is a very different beast, and perhaps it's time to stop comparing each new generation of the Sorento with the first. It may not be the bargain it once was, but to my mind, this new Sorento is the best yet.